going on guys? Today we're going to be doing some more testing on the Magicycle. We're going to be going off-road and taking it off some sweet jumps. Alright guys, so last time we did the initial assembly and testing of the Magicycle electronic bike. We mostly just did on-road testing, pretty simple stuff. So now we're going to do the more aggressive testing. We're going to go off-road in the trails in the woods here. I also have a kicker ramp that I kind of want to send this thing off of, so we'll see how that goes. We're going to start off, take it out of the garage and see, see what it can do on some hills. So after last time, um, we still, let's see. I think we still have a good amount of battery after the last time we tested. We did not charge it anymore. It says 100 now. It went down to 93 last time, but right now it says 100, so. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> We're gonna try to go up this hill. I am gonna use like the pedal assist function. I'll just put it on four. I'll just have to make sure I'm in kind of a low gear to try to start to get up this hill, but the, like I said, with the pedal assist, it should kick in and help me. This is a pretty steep hill and it's rocky, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, here it goes. Oh, yeah. oh my god, it's going down the hill. That was really easy, I'm gonna do that again. Oh yeah. Do this. It worked really well. Can you do it from a standstill? From at the bottom? Yeah. I'll try. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I mean, it's a little harder, but it, it goes up. <laughs> you gotta be like ready. That was good. I could have probably went up, oh, I'm only on pedal assist three. I probably could have gone up a little higher there for that hill. But now up here, I'll just go to four. Yeah, so the, the throttle's nice to use for turning around and stuff. Because this is a little heavy to just be like turning around tight and tight stuff. The throttle's nice to just assist you around. Feels pretty good though. Try it out? Uh, yeah. Here? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I got some air, I think. You got a lot of air. <laughs> you like it? This is a tank. Now I want to go down here. There's a little spot where I can kind of like jump off. So I'm going to actually just like probably coast down this and then hit the gas and see. I'll probably get some air down here. What? I'll show you. Oh, look at that. Kickstand works off road. I'll try to like go off right here. No. -uh. Yeah, right here. With some speed. Get, catch some air. Let's see what happens. I think you should be like down there. I don't. I hope the camera catches this. Like picks up how steep this is. He said he bottomed out the shock. Look at this. this is like a really steep hill and pretty high. Yeah, that's that's a leap right there. 
Yeah, you see, I, I and you did. landed in the groove. Yeah, I landed in the groove perfect. I'm actually really impressed that it went up this hill. Yeah, me too. I was just pedaling like not that hard. I mean, I was just pedaling normally and it brought me right up it. Yeah, I, th I definitely like bottomed out the shocks a little bit. I heard it. I think you can uh, adjust them a little bit so they were a little stiffer maybe, that might help. But uh, didn't break anything, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna come in here with some speed and then like go up. <laughs> it's all motor. All motor. <laughs> I'm gonna do the push assist right now because I'm in a weird spot. Hold the minus, there you go. So it just takes you, just goes right up for you. Yeah. Up here? Yep. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. He just used the twist throttle to start yeah. out. So this is gonna be the real test. This is a pretty steep hill and extremely rocky and rough. So I'm gonna use the pedal assist. Let's just crank it up to seven, just because we're gonna need max help on this rocky surface. So I'll use the twist throttle to help me from the start, but then I'll just use the pedal assist. All right, time to take it off the jump. Safety first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I think, I think this would work. We're about to find out. Holy <laughs> I was not ready to blast off the space. <laughs> Are you going to the moon? Dude. What the? I think I said gas it off the top and I was just freaking went for a ride there. <laughs> Holy. I think I was going like six or seven miles an hour. You just rocketed in the air. <laughs> I was glad I didn't die. I'll, let's try this again. I think that was a little smoother. I let off the throttle right at the jump a little bit. <laughs> yeah, if you leave the throttle on on the jump, it really boosts you off a lot more. That's kind of crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> the front end is a lot lighter than the back, which is kind of nice to like kind of maneuver, but you really blast off of that thing. All right, let's take the jump up there and then I'll have a lander so I can land on the downhill. I think that'll be better. Oh man, if I blast off too much though, I'll land backwards. Make sure all the calculations are right. You know. Yeah, you gotta work. divide by zero and uh. That should work. Yep. You could go bigger than that. Yeah, I know. I was going a little too fast and I let off. It's actually like really smooth. I'm like surprised how smooth that is. Having the lander is nice. That was a launch there. 
Maybe I should back this jump up. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. It worked well. It looks like minimal effort too, because you got your motor, you can yeah. drive her back up. Yeah, I mean, this ramp's a little small, like short for this big of a tire. Because mm -hmm. you, you gotta watch that, it might buck you off, but you give a little gas, works perfect. Yeah, I think that was the most air I got that time. That was nice. Dude, that was like a 10 foot jump. I think I'm going like 10 or 11 miles an hour. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to even look at that and then focus on what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. It's funny because you think it would be really sketchy with all this weight, but it, it feels pretty smooth. Yeah. Like I would think it would be like way harder to control, but even in the air, it's not bad at all. It's pretty smooth. And we're still at 67% battery. So that's after the first initial testing and then all of the testing today through all the trails up the hills and through all the mud and everything else. And then off the jumps, we're still at 67% battery. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> As I mentioned before, if you like what you see and you wanna purchase one of these, you can use my link below. I also put one up here somewhere. You can use my code CORE1 for $100 off one bike or CORE2 for $250 off two bikes.